It happens to all of us. You set all of these really great intentions and habits, and then when the moment comes to follow through, you somehow manage to find a really, really great excuse for why you can't or why you shouldn't do it. I mean, raise your hand if that sounds like something that you've done in the past, you've currently experienced, and I just wanna let you know that we're human. Making changes, even positive changes that we know are going to support our well being, makes us wanna resist. I get asked all the time, Mikkel, how do you have so much motivation to stick with your morning routines or your routines in general? And I don't, I'm not a unicorn and I definitely experience some of the same feelings that you might be feeling when it comes to a lack of motivation and all of the excuses that you do too, but I do have a trick for navigating them and a tool that I've learned over the years. So I'm gonna share with you a super simple practice that you can do in the moment when an excuse arises so that you can realign to your true actions. So this happened to me a few weeks ago and I woke up and I was so cozy in bed and cozy literally is the epitome of the situation. I was cuddling with Luna on one side and my husband Jesse on the other and it was rainy and super gloomy outside and it was so easy to say that I, I did not want to wake up and go work out. So in those moments when excuses start to come up, again in that moment I take these two steps. Number one, I ask myself, how do I wanna feel after I do X, Y, Z? Whatever it is that I'm contemplating not doing. So for example, that morning I was thinking about bar three. Focusing on my future self and how I want to feel after I do something really reminds me of the reason why I'm doing this in the first place. And I've talked about this so much, but when you align your why behind your actions and your habits becomes so much easier. And in order for, for you to do something and for it to feel like it's not another thing that you have to check off off your to-do list, you really need to tap into your why. So for me, when I was going through this whole wanting to skip my workout class situation, I asked myself, how will I feel after going to bar three class? And that usually is you know, energized, awake, strong, centered, all of those feelings that I really want so I can carry those throughout the rest of my day so I feel my best. And so usually that little mindset flip on focusing on how I'll feel after versus how I'm feeling right in the moment really, really helps me overcome any type of excuse that I have. And now the second little thing that I do, if it's still not, not quite doing it for me, if I've, won, if I've gone through the first pass, then I'll get out of bed and say, can I just stretch for five minutes? Um, and I can get back in bed after that, and, f and if I feel like it's enough, then it's enough. But by the end of just those few minutes of moving my body, I had totally shifted my energy from going, okay, yeah, I need a little extra sleep, to no, this is what I actually need physically. Making it super easy on yourself by just doing a little bit of that exercise or that X, Y, Z, you fill in the blank, can really give you that momentum to follow through, and you can just do you know a little bit of anything. So to recap, focus on how you will feel after and then get yourself to do just a little bit of that thing that you're contemplating the excuse about. These two simple tricks can really help you push aside any excuses that are getting in your way. It can also help you shift your focus and energy towards taking action. And also it helps you realign with your why. So to take these few steps a little bit deeper, download my free guide for creating healthy habits with ease where I walk you through this entire process for making habits that stick and also it'll help you navigate any of these challenges or excuses as they inevitably come up because you are human and it's okay. So follow the link around this video to download that. And of course, if you liked this video, I love hearing what your biggest takeaway was. So let me know around this video and also be sure to follow and subscribe for more videos just like this every single week. And if you need a little bit more extra inspiration, whether it's from free healthy recipes or articles, or even just more shots of behind the scenes content on Instagram stories, then be sure to follow me there. But I am wishing you a really beautiful day and remember health is a daily practice.